This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV Royce and congratulations to third round stoppage for yourself tonight. Just talk me through what we saw in the ring. Uh, you've seen a, a more composed Royce than Barney Smith staying a bit more closer and uh, trying to sit in the pocket a little bit more like as, as you could see and um, it paid dividends because that's what I've been working in the, on in the gym. It, I had to show everyone a new aspect of my style. It's not get in there, catch a early and job done. I showed you how to break someone down tonight and uh, pick up the pace on them like I did. Is it good to kind of get a bit more time in terms of stopping someone and breaking someone down? Because we've seen you go in there in the first round, put people away, but just having at least a couple of rounds to suss someone out and then break them down gives you time to work on what you want to do and gets you to show the people around you what, what you're about. Sure, yeah, because now people won't look at me as just a, a young kid who can crack a bit. Now they're watching me as a fully-fledged professional. That's my professional fight tonight. I boxed in there, so like I had 20 fights because the way I went in there, the mentality I had, the training I was doing, watching the video, studying the fella, and that's what all paid dividends tonight. So you're only 19. Do you feel like an eight-fight professional at this point? Uh, no, I feel like I've had more fights yeah. off that performance, yeah. But... Uh, it's hard to believe that I have only had eight fights now and I am only 19 because the things what I'm doing isn't really what a 19-year-old does. And, um, and I'm, I'm happy about that and I can't wait to push on for more in, the, in early 2024. I mean, we hear a lot when people mention man strength as, as a thing in boxing. Uh, for someone who can punch like you can punch and break a fighter down like you can, should, should fighters be worried that you could get an extra bit of man strength as well? Because we could be looking at a seriously dangerous worse than Barney Smith. Sure, like I'm only 19 now, yeah, I can punch a bit, but trust me, there's a lot more to come with my phys physicality. At, at the minute, I look a bit skinny, but even though I can punch like a horse... I wouldn't call that skinny, but yeah. <laughs> even though I can punch like a horse kicking, it, 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 it doesn't matter unless you can land that shot. So seeing in there tonight, watching the way to break someone down and get them big shots off of, that's where I'm very dangerous. How would you assess your 2023? Four fights, um, yeah, nice and active and... Good performances, stoppages, got some rounds in as well. Um, how would you assess 2023? Uh, good. Stepped up to six rounders, completed that. Next chapter now on to eight. And uh, last, well, this year has is, is, is been a good one because it's raised my profile a lot. Uh, I want to thank Queensbury and uh, Fre Frank Warren and TNT for putting me on these big shows. And uh, I can't wait for, for a big 2024 now. And I just heard you say to Lou from Queensbury that in 2024 you'll be taking a few people O's, right? Yeah, for sure. I'm taking everyone's O as, as soon as 20, uh, 2024 comes. And You're going to be calling names? Is this what we're going to get in 2024? Are you looking down the lens and calling names? Uh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to start calling some names out, start taking some people's O's and uh, picking up some titles and uh, showing who's, who's boss and number one in the superweight division. I can't wait for, for 2024. Um, just got to ask you quickly one more thing. Um, obviously, I know your gym's a buzzing gym, but you've got Anthony Joshua. And then now, what's it been like seeing him up close, working next to the big man, and, and how's he looking ahead of December 23rd? Uh, it's good watching the big man, sitting down, having a chat with him, having a bit of crack with him. It's, it's, it's all right, because like knowing what he's been through, knowing how hard it is to get there and become world champion, and, he, and he's done it a few times now, uh, undisputed. And watching the way he trains and focuses for a fight, it's good, because I've, I've took note of that, I've took that on board, and you've seen that tonight, the way uh, I went in there and executed the plan.